mother of God, did anyone say it would be easy? Galway lead by three points. Joe Kelly goes back to take the line ball. It's on the verge. It's on the verge for Galway. Joe Kelly with the line ball. Back outside his own 45 meter line. It's all over. Galway have won the All Ireland Championship. Yeah, the mood coming up to the 2012 final was good. I think people were positive. We won Leinster that year, and people were confident. I think, and fortunately, they worked out. But that's sport. Yeah, I suppose that year I was um, I was 19 and just came onto the team. I made a view that year, and I suppose we went on a good run. And uh, yeah, it was a bit of a dream. It went very fast, and I suppose we put in a lot of work beforehand as well. So. Um, you're, you're probably a bit overwhelmed, but you're trying to act like you're not. I suppose you're putting on a bit of a front that you're not bothered or phased. But um, yeah, it's, it's a big thing. It's something you've dreamed of since you were young. So um, not starting the final, I suppose. Yeah, you're bitterly disappointed, but at the same time, you're you're thinking there's there's a chance that I can come on at some stage and maybe be the impact sub that makes the difference or gets to win a score, or whatever it might be. So yeah, coming back off was. It was a bit surreal really, you're kind of thinking, is, is this actually happening or am I dreaming? I suppose you're a bit in shock more than that and you don't really know what to feel or what to think. On a personal level, you're kind of, you just want to lock yourself away and don't really want to talk to anyone about it or I suppose if you do that, that's how you'd be defined, so. Well, Connor loved turning from the day he was born. I mean, he always loved the game and I could see he put the work into it and he was plagued with injuries and that type of thing and he didn't complain. He had surgery, broke his foot twice, got over it, he didn't come crying to me about it, he got over it, he did the treatment, he did the work. I suppose you're frustrated and you're, I suppose you're bullying in a way to try and get back and try and get back on the field and try and win your position. So um, at the time, you, when you're injured in itself, you probably wanted more and you're, it's difficult to do the training, but when you come back, you're, you're very fresh and I think you're probably very driven, yeah. That's a very small margin, do you know what I mean, between being there on the all Ireland final day and, and not being there. It was really calm on the lead up to it this year though, I think. Although it was calm, it was a good sense of I mean, it was a, I suppose, a, a good feeling on the lead up to it, like that, you'd still be nervous. Yeah, I think there was a real sense of maturity this year. I mean, the, the age profile, I think a lot of lads are kind of hitting their prime now. Um, I suppose you had a real balance to the team this year, and that um, we had a rock solid defence and we had a good spread of scores around the team as well. So, uh, you're, There's no guarantee with anything. Sport is never a guarantee, but I was quietly confident throughout. I knew when we got off to rally that we were there. Yeah, it was, just, it was surreal in ways. You were kind of, you just go a bit crazy for a few minutes and you just look around for someone to celebrate with. And um, I suppose then when you sit us down, you look for your family in the stand. And maybe when you come back down home, that's when it really sinks in that when you see the crowd in Pierce Stadium, how they're just so just so happy that you've, that you've achieved that and it gives a great lift to the county, I think. Galway have won the All Ireland Senior Championship title. They won the National Hurling League. They won the Leinster final in their fourth final of the year. Be all done and David Bork has worked the Oracle. The Galway minor team go out of the field to greet their heroes. Connor is, I don't mind an admitting it. There's a fair few tears in the eyes. This is absolutely magic.